it's Wednesday, and you're watching The Biggest Beauty Project, and you know what? I'm back. First of all, to our viewers and ladies of the channel, sorry, sorry about last week. Um... There's been some exciting things going on, and I'll tell you about that more at the end of the video. But first, let me cover the topic that was picked by our lovely Amy. Um, the topic was, what do you do during the summer to entertain yourself on a budget? So, um, being in San Antonio, there, you know, it's a big city. There are a lot of things that are available out there for you to do. But some of the things that I like to do personally and myself, I like to spend a lot of time at my mom's house, mainly because of the fact that she has a ginormous pool in the backyard, and it's so much fun to swim in, and we like to swim and barbecue and have fun family time. So we spend a lot of time there because it's free, and we can swim, and you can lay out and tan and, and relax. It's a lot of fun. Um, also, I like to go to, like, cheap matinee movies. That's one of my favorite things to do, um, especially at this place, which I think is really funny because I just got on Facebook, and Samantha put on her Facebook that she was uh, a post about this place called Alamo Draft House, and if you haven't been to Alamo Draft House, you should check it out. Leah, get down. Sorry, my dog was invading my space. Um, yeah, so... Alma Draft House. It's a really cool place. It's like um, dinner and m a movie type of thing. And because they have a theater and they've got like bars up in the front, <clears throat> and you can order food and drinks and stuff like that. And it's a lot of fun. And it's a real more a lot more intimate atmosphere. And yeah. So Alma Draft House. We'd like to go there because they have good matinee prices and they show a lot of really fun movies like. During the summer, they're going to have, uh, I think it's actually starting next week, they're going to be having uh, the Grease sing-along. So they'll have Grease with the words out of the bottom where everybody can sing along and have fun. So, yeah, there's that. Um, other than that, cheap stuff that I like to do, basically it's just hanging out with friends, going to do things that are, you know, very cost-effective, like... We'll go bowling on like a, a special night where they have like a group discount or something like that or um, everybody will bring their own alcohol and just come over and hang out at the house and we'll watch movies and stuff like that. But I mean, we're just very budget conscious because times are hard right now and it's, it's hard to save money, especially with gas prices and the price of groceries going up and everything else and you have to provide for yourself. Yeah, <laughs> it's a little difficult to save the money. Um, in other news, the reason why I missed last week's video, and the reason why I haven't been like commenting on a bunch of stuff and everything lately, is because my best friend just gave birth to my godson. Um, <clears throat> we welcomed lovely little Henry to the world on June the 6th at 8.54 p.m., and he is 5 pounds, 14 ounces, 19 inches, and absolutely precious. So, I have to say, Sarah, Elvis, y'all did a great job, because he's amazing, and I can't wait to spend more time with little Hank, but um, to the viewers, that's why I missed last week's video. I was on Baby Watch, and yeah. <laughs> So don't worry, I'm here, I'm not leaving, I'm not going anywhere, I'm still here, and um, also, Amanda, welcome to the channel, you're amazing, I loved watching your video, and thank you for your condolences. Um, Caitlin, I hope you had a lot of fun in Portland, I um, hope you told everyone that I said hello, um, yeah, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you do on a budget during the summer. Amy! I'm still so excited for you that you graduated from high school. You are amazing. You are so talented and smart. And 
and you're going to have the best summer this summer. Just enjoy it because it's your last summer out of grade school um, because summers in college are a little bit different. Um, I don't know. I guess it's because you're more grown up and I don't know. But I always thought that summers in grade school were a lot different than summers in college. And my lovely Samantha, congratulations on your marathon. I am very proud of you. I don't think your time was bad at all. I thought it was amazing. Yay for you going up hills and doing... Sorry, the dog again. And doing amazing things. Um, Leah is trying to upstage me, so or she's trying to upstage me, so I think I'm going to go. I hope you ladies have a great week, and I will see you next Wednesday. Bye!